S time here on Phoenix FM, and I've got the lovely Katrina Lewis of F Barnes Solicitors in the studio with me, and her lovely friend uh, Joanne uh, uh, Joe. We we'll call you Joe. That's better. Joe Drew. She's in as well. She's filming stuff at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't see anything because she's blinded me with that light on the camera. Um, you're right, because you're looking at me, but I'm looking straight at All I can see is dots in front of my eyes. Uh, hello, Katrina. Hello. Get a little bit closer to the mic. Uh, hello, can you hear me now? Oh, that's better. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Uh, you nervous? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so you should be. <laughs> I think your mic's, moved, your mic's moved around a little bit. You want, right. it, you want it face at it, something is like that. Better? Oh, yes. Yes, we can hear, hear your lovely voice. So I'm going to ask you a few questions here. Um, what, what, is it, what is the actual job you do at F Barnes? I'm the head of the conveyancing department. Okay. I'm also a director of F Barnes. Oh, lovely. Yes. And how long have you been there? Uh, I've been at F Barnes for approximately 26 years. No, that's a long time job. <laughs> you meant to say surely not. You don't, you don't look old enough. enough. <laughs> let me finish, girl. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> and what made you get into law then? So, um, I had no burning vocation for law. Right. Um, I did a mixture of A-levels that didn't lead in any particular direction other than teaching, which I knew I wouldn't want to do and would be very good at. Right. So I went along to our careers advisor, such as they were in my day, which was basically one of your teachers pretending to be a careers advisor. Yeah, that, 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 uh, no, don't you, you want, I, I, want, I want to be a, a, a singer. No, you don't want to do that. You can't <laughs> sing. Yeah, look at me now, teachers. <laughs> anyway. They just said, well, because your A-levels don't lead anywhere other than teaching, why not do more? It's a good degree to have, yeah. even if you don't take it up as a profession. And I went, all right then, and it was as simple as that. Okay. And I haven't looked back since. So, so what, what, what kind of law did you study? Did you study this kind of law, or was it, is it a general law degree? Yeah, a general law degree. You have right. to do all sorts of areas of law. Um, so, yeah, from family law to the constitution to, to everything. everything oh, wow. Think of, so yeah. you got into conveyancing? Well... Or have you just fallen into that recently? I sort of fell into it, because you get to a point, you do your training, and then you have to get a job. Right. And at the time, the only vacancies were in the conveyancing department. Okay. So that was where I went. Yeah. And straight, straight from university, you went to F Barnes? No, I did go to another firm before. <laughs> <laughs> we're not mentioning other No, we're not, me <laughs> we're not mentioning other places, no. So first of all, first question I need to ask you, what is stamp duty? Ah, your face! <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're not even going to go down that route because it would to keep some of your listeners listening. Yeah, I've got, a bit boring. I've got a show that finishes <laughs> at six, and other people have got to come in. <laughs> so, in your opinion, uh, why do you think people need legal guidance throughout buying and selling property? Then, um, well, buying and selling does involve a lot of knowledge about land law. Yeah. Land law, I think, is one of the most complex areas of English law. Oh, of course. Um, so I you do that. need to have somebody who knows all about it because it can be a bit of a minefield yeah. otherwise. Um, people seem to think that because titles are now registered at the land registry, yeah. all they need to do is look at that title, that's it. If that says the right things, then that's fine. But actually, there's an awful lot more to it. Okay. Also, moving can be... A really stressful time for people. Oh, it is. You need a bit of a buffer, I think, um, between you and all the toing and throwing, yep. and everybody being on your back all the time. And that's where, apart from knowledge, that's where your solicitor comes in. They deal with a lot of the flack, they deal with a lot of the problems, and hopefully take some of the strain away from people. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. You know, I, I do have trouble moving. <laughs> um, and there is foam at the door as a buffer for me in case <laughs> I pick up speed between the, the desk and the door. <laughs> and I, but I do know what you mean. Yeah, is. I mean, when I moved myself, which was the first time I'd experienced what all my clients had gone through, right. I did my conveyancing, my own conveyancing myself. It yeah. was a big mistake. No, because then you're, well, you're giving yourself the headache, you're telling people that well, the solicitor takes away. I phoned worst client. Oh, yeah. I phoned everybody up every day to we see all what are. was happening and it all got far too stressful because I was too close to it. Yeah, so, that's why yeah. they say don't deal with your own cases. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, let somebody else do it. Yeah. Um, so you said it's, really, it's a very stressful time when you move. Yeah. Uh, so how long would it typically take to move into a property? Because I've got a friend who's um, buying a place in... Where is it? In Brixham. Right. 
had decided to up sticks from Hornchurch and they get to Brixham. Mm. Uh, and they think they could possibly be there by July. Is that a, 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 from now till July? There's no set answer to time scale. Right. It depends on what you discover along the way, yeah. any problems, the people that you're dealing with, the other side solicitors that you're dealing with, how long the chain is. If there were no problems of any sort like that... Yeah, there's no chain at the other end, but they I haven't think sold their you properties. You can safely say you'd get to exchange with them four-ish to six-ish weeks and you'd complete two weeks after that. Well, that's good. So they're, they're roughly... Their time. Two months. Yeah, their time scale is Everything's spot on. perfect. Okay, well, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Um, when you moved, yeah, when you moved, yes. yeah, um, once you'd done it, yeah. did you uh, did you think, I'm not ever going to do this again, like move? Mm -hmm. Or did you think, if I'm going to do it again, I'm going to get someone else in the office to do it? Both. I haven't moved since. <laughs> Stay where I am, and that was 20 years ago. Um, but I also would never do it again. No, you need to have someone else to offload it on. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So many people hear about pulling out or withdrawing their offers. Yes. Uh, can they do that? In, so yeah. if, if so, what happens to all the money that they've spent at that point? They can withdraw at any time. Right. Because under law, you're not committed legally until you exchange contracts. Right. So you can withdraw at any time before exchange of contracts. And actually, apart from the grief that you will get from all the other parties in the chain, Yeah. There's no consequences whatsoever. Right. But you won't get back money you've spent on things like searches, surveys. Well, that, and that, that seems also, common, common yeah, sense. Yeah, and you'll also get a, an abortive bill from your legal advisors for right. work they've undertaken. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say, um, yeah, yeah, we're not happy. We appreciate that you don't want to do this, but we're not happy you've done well, it. We've done the work anyway. Yeah, we've done all the work. <laughs> so, what are the common errors you see in your job? Well, I think one of the main mistakes that people make is ringing around for a quote right. and going with the cheapest that they find. We're talking conveyancing. We're talking conveyancing. Right. I mean, like all things in life, you basically get what you pay for. Well, of course. Um, the cheapest are not necessarily the best. No. And often they're cheap for a reason. That's the same with most, thing, most things in life, though, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's um, anything, whether it's booking a disco, yeah. or whether you're buying uh, a dress, yeah. or whatever, or conveyancing. Anything. anything. Um, and I would say, you know, we at our firm pride ourselves on offering a good service, and our motto is the client comes first. Always, always. In this, in, um, when you're dealing with the general public, they are the most important person because. They are the people that, once you've done your job, recommend you again. Absolutely. And if you've done a great job, they're going to go, yeah, I've used F Barnes, and they were great, yeah. and, and Katrina was wonderful. And, um, just don't let her move house again. <laughs> 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 On her own. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's such a stressful time. People do need a helping hand through it all, which means being there for the client, taking their calls. Yeah. I, I work in the Collier Row branch. A lot of people go to Tesco's and just pop into me on the off chance. Well, and I will always see them because that's what I'm there for. Well, that's nice. Yeah. They, bring, they bring you a sandwich? As, if they bring me a sandwich, they get preferential treatment. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. What if they do offer to do your shopping? Donuts, eh? <laughs> you should have said I've got jam donuts. Last time I was here, I, the, J yeah. Joe didn't want to eat anything. Mm -hmm. And who was it, Martin? He didn't want to eat anything oh, either. Well, next time I come, you know. He was more nervous than you, though. Oh, was he? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. You are doing wonderfully. <laughs> I can tell you, uh, you are a lot less nervous. So uh, I would say to people, um, buying a house, buying is one of your biggest assets that you're ever going to be involved with. Oh, of course. All of your money goes into it. Yep. Why scrimp and save a couple of hundred pounds on legal fees for the sake of saving a couple of hundred pounds? Yeah. Ending up with not good advice, when maybe spending just that little bit more will be properly looked after. Yeah. So I think that is one of the biggest mistakes people make. Yeah, and there's a lot of bucket shop firms out there. Um, and online people. And online. And I mean, we actually get some of the bucket shop people phoning us up from the other side saying, can you speak to us? Because they won't speak to us. And we have to say, well, no, unfortunately we can't. Yeah. But you do sympathise with them. Um, but 
Yeah, yeah so it's use somebody that, that is basically um, better at the job, somebody you yeah. can, you, I like to deal with people face to face. Well this is it, and also like, instead of looking for a cheap quote, read testimonials online, yep. speak to people like you just said, speak yeah. to, were you happy with them? It's all word of mouth. Exactly, and that's what counts a lot more than a, a few more shillings and pence I'm going to say. Show them <laughs> <age>. <laughs> I understand what you're yes. talking about, I, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, don't worry. Um, all, all, well, this, all this talk about Brexit and the uncertain economy. Uh, what do you see? Do you, how do you see this affecting uh, the property market over the next twelve months? Uh, it's a difficult one to answer that. Um, if we have crystal ball, we'd all be millionaires next year. But, this is um, true. Brexit has knocked the property market. Has it? I think it has, just like it has most businesses, um, because. People lack confidence about future financial commitments. Oh, really? I think so. Having said that, I think the market has picked up a little now. We're seeing signs of it moving now. And I think people are taking the attitude of, you know, Brexit's taking so long to sort out. Yeah, but that, that's if I the, want to move, let's move. That's you know? the country. I know. You know, if, if, if you want to move, if say, say tomorrow I want, to, I, I want to move house uh, and I want to go and buy it. Well, just like my friends have done, they've mm. gone go and buy a property somewhere else, but down by the seaside, and basically retire down there. Mm. I'm not going to worry if we're going to pull out of Europe or not. Is no, but people are worried about how the market's going to go. So it is knocking confidence in the market. Well, it has been, but I think it is picking up now. Right. Um, and I think people are just so fed up with that. They're going, well, I'm going to do what I want. Anyway, well, that's it. We'll take the consequences. That's it. It's, it's taken so long. I mean, we, we didn't put off our holiday because of uh, we didn't know how uh, Brexit was going to affect going to a Spanish country, what we need to yeah. do. And, and it so happens, nothing. No. Absolutely no. nothing. I know. That's it's, why I say the market is now picking up, definitely. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, other final advice would you have for anyone that's. Uh, Thinking of moving home and wants to use your services. Well, they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go on our website, that will be confirmed. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that's just the way you said we're really good. <laughs> well, we are <laughs> really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you have to speak to people, find out, but we have got a very good reputation. We do put the clients first. Yeah, so which is the, the, the best thing to do. Absolutely, and uh, we get a lot of repeat work, lots of recommended work. Um, yes, come to us and find out. I'm going to ask you a really dumb question now. I do have to. What's conveyancing? <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> My mate Stuart Stewart's listening. Hello, Stuart. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Stuart. <laughs> um, what? Conveyancing is the legal process of all the work we have to go through to move people from one place to another. Right. It's the legal side of it. I'm with you now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so now, now, now I know. I'm, I'm, I think I'm mixing conveyancing up with uh, uh, surveying. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've had a very busy day. I really have. <laughs> have you had, enjoyed yourself? I have.